what we did, Rustin and I ranked uh, the, the the uniforms for Tennessee. Uh, some of the ones that we, we we all the different combinations we can think of. Obviously, the the Sunday creams uh, that was on the list. The dark mode with the, the black cap, uh, black jersey, and or, and white pants. The orange, orange, white look with the orange hat, uh, orange jersey, and white pants. Uh, the all grays, the all smoky grays. We're going to rank those as well. They're going to be in there. Primary road uniform right there. The all whites with the orange cap. The typical uh, Friday home look. And the pinstripes, which we saw against UNC Asheville last night. And, uh, and so those are all in there. Uh, so Rustin, you go first. Tell us your rankings of Tennessee's uniforms. Do you want me to go first to last or last to first? Let's go first to last. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So I love the Sunday creams. I think it's honestly, I think it's the best looking uniform, maybe in all of college baseball. Um, Ole Miss's Columbia blue uniform is pretty close, but um, the all, the all Sunday cream I love um, I would love it even more if they were able to come out with a retro cream hat to go with it. That would be just unbelievable seller. Um, next for me is the orange cap, the orange jersey, and the white pant. Um, love the contrast. Just love the way it looks. Um, like the orange jersey because it's a it's a stereotypical, traditional um, alter, alternate jersey. Um, and I'll come back to that in a second. I really like the orange hat with the pinstripe uniforms. Um, I didn't used to like the pinstripe uniforms when they were Adidas. They, they looked weird. The pinstripes were way too big. Um, but since they switched to Nike, Nike's pinstripe uniform looks really good. Um, after that, I've got the black hat, the black jersey, and the white pant. I just really love that look. Um, I'm ready for Alumni Hall or the UT Vol Shop or someone to get the black Nike hat in stock and actually keep it in stock. That would be wonderful. Um, I have with yet puff to, embroidery. Yes. With, with puff embroidery, not a flat embroidered UT on the front. Um, I have yet to be able to order one of those because every time I try, they're always sold out. Um, so this is where my, my top seven kind of will maybe anger some people. So I could have put, number five, number six, and number seven, all as number seven. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't like Tennessee's white Jersey at all. Um, I did. So when I was growing up, when I was playing in high school, when I was playing in college, um, two button placket jerseys were what you reserve for summer ball because it was cheap. And it blows my mind that Tennessee's primary home Jersey is a two button placket Jersey. And it would be different if if Nike just didn't make full button down uniforms, but their pinstripe is a full button down. So we know they do. And and I just do so many creams are buttoned down. Right. And so I just have no I have no earthly idea why the Friday night jersey, the one that you're probably wearing on TV more than any other, is the cheapest jersey you can possibly buy. I, I just don't get that. And, and I don't really like it, to be honest. Um, when I was a player, I used to hate when we had to wear the two button placket. It was, I mean, you just didn't, you didn't feel like you didn't feel like you look good. I mean, it's really what it came down to. So number six, look good, and number, feel good, play good, baby. <laughs> right. So number six and number seven are kind of along the same lines. Um, number six is the gray, orange, gray. And the only reason it's above number seven is because of the orange jersey. <laughs> um, <laughs> because in my opinion, and this is what's going to be really unpopular. I think our smoky gray uniforms are absolutely disgusting. I, I don't like <laughs> them at all. I don't like that shade of gray in a baseball uniform. It looks weird and dingy. Um, I especially don't like that. The Jersey again is a two button placket. Um, and, and that's the only reason why the gray orange gray got slightly higher than the gray, 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 because at least the orange, 
the orange is an alternate jersey, so at least it should look a little different. Um, but I would be totally fine if we decided to just scrap the smoky gray jer- uniforms all together and went to a more traditional gray uniform and put the the script balls on it like the creams. Um, I cool. would I would be totally good with that move, especially if it's a full button down normal uniform and not a cheap two placket jersey. That script vols is a game changer. That's, yeah. That looks good. I mean, it looks good. So my rankings, I too went with the Sunday creams as numero uno. Those just, they look good, man. Like that is a good looking baseball uniform right there. I love kind of the retro vibe they got going. Uh, the vol script is perfect. I mean, I, I love that script. So that was my number one. The, Orange hat, orange jersey, white pant was also Rustin's number. So we had the same top two. Um, I love that too. Once again, you got the Vol script. I'm telling you, something about that script. It looks really good. And uh, and so that was some of it. I think some of it is the fact when you look at that picture, look at how well Evo Shield made the helmets match the uniforms. You know, sometimes, sometimes when you have multiple vendors working, you know, because all yeah. their uniforms, all their uniforms are Nike, but all of their exterior gear is Evo Shield. So anytime you've got, you know, the 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 ankle guard or the elbow guard or the helmet, um, Evo Shield did a really good job matching the uniforms. Yeah, I totally agree. They look really good. I mean, like that's just sharp right there. That is a sharp looking uniform. Yep. So those are my top two, the creams and the orange, orange, white. So here's where Rustin and I differ on uh, our our appreciation for the grays. So I'm going to add a caveat in here. Like here's the all gray. I'm going to say I like the all grays at night because at night the orange looks different than it does in the daylight and it looks really sharp at night. So that's my caveat there. When it's a night game and they're in the all grays, it looks good. Uh, Then I would say the orange, white, white, just because it's like a a clean look. I'm not a fan of the straight across script. It goes from like armpit to armpit. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, But I do like the the clean look there. And then uh, after that, we got the pinstripes. And I think I have a photo of that. Yep. So the pinstripes looking sharp. Uh, classic look, you know, not as good as the others, but classic look. Uh, and then I'm not a huge fan of the dark modes. I mean, they're okay, I guess. Um, I guess one of the things that I don't like about it is the juxtaposition of classic Vol logo and new Vols word mark. So you got the classic UT on the hat and then the, the new Vols word mark on across the, the chest on the jersey. I don't know. I, I just like a feng shui thing going on there in the uniform, I guess. <laughs> I've never, I've never really liked the vol script on the black Jersey. I think it's probably, I just like the juxtaposition of the black on white and I love yeah. the hat. It would probably look, it yeah. would probably look really good if they would take that interlocked UT and put it on the left chest. Oh, like, there you know, you're cooking like the T is on the, uh, on the pinstripes. Um, you know, if they if they did something like that with the dark mode and had the black hat with the black jersey and put the interlocking UT on the left chest like that one is, that dark mode uniform would probably look really good. Yeah, I'm all on board on that. Uh, that I'm all for that. Yeah, I can totally see what you're saying and have like an orange number on the bottom left and the, yep. the or the I guess it'd be actually the bottom right if you're wearing it, and then the the interlocking UT on the left chest. Yeah, now that would look sharp. I'm all mm-hmm. about that. That would look good. And then my bottom one was gray, orange, gray. Now, what's interesting is they threw a curveball at us this year, and they wore orange, orange, gray one one night instead of gray, orange, gray. But I think the thing, I don't know. It just it it looks mismatched in my opinion because you got white script on the orange jersey with gray pants. Yeah. And I'm like, that don't match. <laughs> I think one other reason I don't like the smoky grays. Have you ever noticed the orange bill on the hats, on the gray hats? 
somehow Nike messed up and didn't match their own orange because that's a Nike hat, but the orange on it doesn't match the orange on any other part of their uniforms. Yeah, I mean, that's a big mistake. You got to have that Pantone 151C. Or if everybody wants to know the hex code, it's FF8200. That's the <laughs> hex code for uh, that's what the color you see in our background right now, actually. Uh, so that's our rankings for the, the Vols uniforms. We'd love to hear y'all's rankings in the comments when, if you're watching this. I think we're totally in agreement, and probably everybody who's watching this, the creams are the best. I mean, they are top dog. And then that orange, orange, white is a very close second because that is a sharp looking uniform too.